So someone in the comments of an earlier video asked me to show my filters in a little more detail. They're not done yet since I still need some pipes for the centers, which I did get, and some other things for something else. But right now I'll just show you like a brief overview of the filters. I have them on both sides. So I have three filters on this side, and then three filters on that side of the aquaponic system. They're pretty much the same. So I'll just show you basically the concept of how they how the water flows through them and what I'll be doing since I still have to get to the point to get start doing them. So here you can see these three filters. So I got these tanks second hand, which is very helpful since they're conical, which allows the set, uh, solids to settle better and I still need to cover them. But basically how the filtration works is the water first enters here into this first conical tank and it enters it at a swirl. So this kind of directs it. Open this. All right. So the water enters there to swirl and then comes in here, like so. And then in the center of here, I'll have a pipe that goes up and then a bigger pipe around it. So it's a radio, radio flow filter, basically. So the water enters there, has to go down and then back up to go to this filter. So basically it allows all the solids to settle towards the bottom. And then I am able to drain it out from here later on just by pulling out this the, the center piece, which would be kind of like this. There'd be basically a piece going down in the center. And when I want to clean out the solid, I just pull this out and open that valve to some drainage that I'll set up later. But that's the first one. And then from here, the water goes down and then up through here and into this one. So this one is a moving bed biofilter. It is also not done yet since I have to get the biomedia and then get an air stone to put at the bottom. But I can show you this one too. It has quite a bit of gunk in here already. But basically in here the water enters there and then at the bottom there'll be a screen covering the exit points and then there'll be an air stone and there'll be a lot of aggravation in here so that creates a lot of bio surface for bacteria to attach to and then everything will be swirling around in here and then from here it goes down again and through this pipe up into this one so these points are basically where I can drain it and then when it gets back up into here this will be another radio flow filter the difference between this one and that one is this one isn't doesn't have a swirl effect to it so it's just like a normal radio flow filter so you'll just basically have the pipe again going down through the center and then a bigger one around it so the water on the water on this one is actually coming up so it'll come up through the pipe and then have to settle down and then go out through here to this grow bed so basically the idea is this will catch bigger solids Whatever it doesn't catch will go down through here, come into here. This will have a lot of bio area and break apart things. And then the dead bacteria and smaller stuff will come into here. And then this would catch some of that. But if it doesn't catch the smaller stuff, I can always change it to put like a, make it into a mechanical filter and put some padding and stuff so it can catch all that stuff. But hopefully the radial effect will work on this one as well. So I just have these three different compartments that will act as a filtration. And that is the same for that side over there, except, well, that's the, that's the radial flow filter or the radial swirl filter. We got the moving bed biomedia in that one. They're all empty right now too. And then those two will be radial flow filters. So they're the same. These two are basically the same as the last one there, but they're going into different spots. So this one is going over into this area and this one is going to those grow beds over there. And the same, the water just flows from, from the tank into this one, and then from this one into that one, and then from these ones into those ones. I also still need to cover them some more. So I have had some of this, which I was able to cover those two and those ones, which prevents the algae, but I still need to put a piece around here and then either spray paint the top or cover them. But that'll be for another video. So basically in another video, I'll show you how I did that one, how I did that one, and how I did that one, and then I guess since those are the same, it's maybe a video for both. But that is pretty much 
the filtration. Here are the pipes that I'll be using. I just got these, so they're bigger than normal. Got them secondhand. Well, that was pretty much just a quick overview on these filters that I'll be having in my aquaponics system. If it wasn't too clear, just leave a comment below. If you want to see something else, just comment below as well, and I can try to show that in my system. I still need to work on these and get everything ready so that they're fully functioning but right now my main focus is on the fish and stuff and plants so when I do get these they'll be nice because then they'll allow me to have more fish and more surface area for bacteria to attach to but pretty much this video was just showing you briefly on the filters that I have in my aquaponics system so thank you for watching